it's Michelle welcome to my channel grateful creations I have been trying to clean out my um, studio and I have this bucket full oh it's, it's a gallon okay it's a gallon bucket and this these are all the paints that I used when I was uh, experimenting for the, the pearl pour so I didn't want to waste it and I doctored it up a little bit with some of the ingredients that work, but um, there's other stuff in it. So I don't know exactly if it's gonna work real well. This is a 24 by 30 inch gallery wrapped artist loft canvas. I have taped the back. I have my handles on. It's sprayed on the back. That is a drum, getting the bugs off. And I have painted the sides. So now, I have to put down my coat, my base coat, which <laughs> this is six, a 16 ounce um, carafe. Let me try and start with this. I think I'm, whoa, Wilbur. <laughs> you know, um, I have another set. I should probably be using two sets of these handles. Um, anyhow, I didn't do that because they're still waiting to be cleaned. So I'm just going to pour this all around, give it a little bit more. You do want a thin coat all the way around our canvas. And I like to tip it off because it gives me a nice smooth surface. So this is a good way to use up the paints. Hopefully it'll work out. And I've got something different I'm going to be doing too. Now I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna put some aside just for good measure if I need to erase something. There we go. It's always good to do that. So let's tip this. Oh, I believe, jeez. All right. Okay. So far, so good. I don't see any goobers. I see a bubble. That's it. You guys are way up there. So I've moved a lot of, whoa, Wilbur. <laughs> moved a lot of this paint around. I wanna make sure I got my edges. I'm gonna bring it back that way. Gotta make sure I've got enough off. I'm just gonna tip it keep tipping it. Vertical tilt. Vertical tilt. Yep, there's still some. Moving around, I'm getting my corners. And then we want to bring it back. So we have an even coverage and it's not all sitting on one side. Okay, hopefully that's good. I'm gonna bring it down this way just a bit. Can't see what I'm doing, so I don't know if there's a, nope. I think we've got a nice even coat. Bring it back, get some bubbles out. Torch it. So I might be posting this. Okay. I might be posting this in between the series just because to break it up a little bit. She might get bored with all the piggies. Not that piggies are boring, they're quite 
quite fun actually. So this is, I'm gonna go straight across. This is Modern Masters in Iridescent Pearl White. And I have put a little bit of Iridescent Gold in it. This, sorry, there it is. Whoa. This is um, Quinacridone Nicolaso Gold. And I have put in, I had to put, had to thicken it up a bit. So I had to put in some um, Pebeo Copper and iridescent copper and I also put in some color art in oh, oh, oh here it is firefly it's one of my favorites and I'm gonna keep this out because I've got something else I wanted to show you too so we also have golden phthalo turquoise we have artist loft metallic blue metallic cobalt blue i always forget the cobalt part and this is a mixture of a few blues this is um, a little bit of Payne's gray a little bit of prussian blue and a little bit of modern masters venetian blue. all right so that's it for the colors and i have some accent colors but they are, these are um, Shelly Art. Well, this is color art, but it is in the Shelly Art recipe. This is also another color art. This is called Northern Lights. And this is Thalo Turquoise. Just a little bit of it. All right, here we go. I'm gonna start on this side and go over to that side. big canvas. I'm going to go probably through all of this paint. I'm making a mess already. No, I'm not going to go through all of this because this is, yeah. There we go. I thought I saw something there. This is the phthalo turquoise. All of that for sure. Artist Loft, co metallic cobalt blue. And then the Prussian. Oops. Yeah, we can get rid of all that too. Hopefully that won't be a problem. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna start tilting side to side and then I'm gonna bring it down a little bit. So here we go. No talking. So like I said, I have no idea if this is going to work because this is all the paint that I was um, experimenting with. Ooh, I like those colors. And I don't like those wonky cells, so they might have to come off. Oh, paint is running really slow. And let's move it down. Some of those 
block your cells off. I want that blue to run over the quinacridone nicolase of gold. All right, I'm gonna leave it at that. Let it do its thing, and I'm going to do some. I'm going to do some um, enhancements with these um, pigments. It'll be quite different. Um, Sometimes they fractal. And this paint, I think, was fractaling on me too. I don't know if I've um, um, messed with it enough to be able to get rid of the fractals, but there was just a lot of stuff in it. <laughs> so we're just going to put you on time lapse.
All right, guys. Oh boy. This was a study in um, paint reactions. Now, I don't really care for the pearls per se, but I really like, I mean, look at that. Um, this bloom thing here that I did, that is um, Prism Pour in Chantilly Lace. And that's what it does. It just grows like crazy. And uh, yeah, I love um, color art for those reasons. Oh, geez, Louise, I haven't had a bug all night. And here it comes. But I think it's important that we take a look at this. Now, look at that. That's Firefly with the um, prism pour right over top of it. And that's Firefly through the blue. And I wasn't crazy about these cells, so I added a little bit of prism pour in the Chantilly Lace there, and it's, um, it's created a different reaction. I kind of like it. These look like corn on the cob. Uh, the colors I like and then this one's growing like crazy I put a little bit on each of these that I didn't really care for and it looks like um, I mean there's some growth in these but not a lot so it looks like um, when you put it down on the cloud mix it doesn't really do anything it doesn't react the cloud mix doesn't listen look at that isn't that pretty now these look like corn on the cob that had gone bad so I brought a toothpick through it and I'm loving this right up here gorgeous so and then these little guys, that is actually drips from the, um, the table. And when, when I put it over top of the pigments, it didn't react like it would a cloud or the cloud or um, pearl, pearl pour mix, those two. So I've got some detail I was able to keep intact, which I kind of like. Very informative piece. I'm liking it. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, all of my art is available for purchase. If you want, if you see something you want to make your own, um, just email me at gcfluidart at gmail.com and I'll respond. And please be safe and create. Please like, share, and subscribe. Ciao for now.